happy Memorial Day yeah. to you. Uh, it was a very busy Memorial Day for us. Yes. We uh, got up early, went to a <coughs> bless you parade. Thank you. Uh, that Lily marched in, and <coughs> bless you again. And then we went to the uh, Mansfield Card Show. Uh, then we went to, out to eat. We went to the Bass Pro Shop for the first time, and then we went to Wait, see the what? Avengers too. Wait, what was the Bass Pro Shop? The Bass Pro Shop, the big store with the stuffed ant bears and oh, yeah, yeah. the Wait, boats uh, and the big whale oh, hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. So uh, we did uh, do a small video uh, about the Mansfield Card Show. Now this particular one, it being a holiday and not a, the regular Sunday, wasn't very well attended. Uh, we also went a little later. We went about noon, and uh, there just wasn't many people there. It was about, uh, I don't know, about half as big as it usually is, it felt like. There wasn't a lot to look at. We were only there for about an hour. Yeah, there is like, this whole wide open place. Yeah, the whole back of back third of the uh, room was set up for autographs instead of being in a separate room uh, just to fill in space. Uh, not a lot of dealers, uh, not a lot of cool stuff. We picked up some stuff, though, that we'll show you. Yeah. Uh, when we get back on the other side, but for now, here's a quick little look at uh, the Mansfield Card Show today. Go. All right, it's time once again for the Mansfield Sports Card Show. Uh, we're at the May Show. Uh, today's Memorial Day, so we're gonna go in and Morning. see what kind of cool cards we can get today, and uh, we'll show you off all the hits and give you a little video. So enjoy. So when we went to uh, the show, we did pick up a few small things. Uh, usually, uh, if you watch these videos, they're usually two to five dollar price tags on stuff. Uh, so we'll show them off to you real quick. Um, what do you want to show first? Okay, so I got a big puppy. Take it out of the, the top loader oh, yeah. there so you can see it better. Yeah, we got a, uh, is that your first David Ortiz relic? Yes. Of all time. Of all time, yeah. So we did find a uh, $3 David Ortiz upper deck relic. Uh, it's the, what is it, the uh, Midsummer Swatches All-Star Game Edition. A very cool card. Everyone knows how much I enjoy my upper deck. They always And everyone a, knows how much product. I enjoy the David Ortiz. That's right. So that was Lucas's. I got a little uh, prism. Autograph. That's the type of card it is. Feel how, how it is. Oh, yeah. So I got a nice Prism Zach McAllister autograph. What turn? This autograph is guaranteed. Woo! So that was cool. I mean, that, I think this was two dollars for this autograph. So anytime you can get a a current player on your favorite team's autograph on card, can't go wrong. Prism. Okay, and then I got a signed, a, <clears throat> wait, an autographed bat patch card for Yakameko Navarro. Emichio Navarro. Hey, I want to hold it. This is a 2011 Bowman Prospects card. Now it's it's a cool again a three dollar autograph relic card Red Sox pretty cool I mean the bat relics are always cool and the I believe that's on card autograph as well nope that's a sticker who could tell through the sheet all right and then I got a little piece of history now this one was only a a dollar fifty for this little bad boy that I found this is a uh, piece of the game game used bat again upper deck SP. And this is for Kenny Lofton of the Indians. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. 
very cool. And you can actually see it's not embedded in the card. It actually sticks up over the card. So very cool. Very cool. I mean, for, for a dollar oh, fifty. Yeah, see how it's attached to the card? Okay, Doug, you can actually load this around. Wee wee. We got a I got another David Ortiz patch card. But it's a mini patch card for David Ortiz. Yep, that is the uh, T206 series and you can also move them around. mini framed card with the relic. And that's how uh, you can feel it both sides. What? Can you feel oh, it on the back no, too? No, no, no. no. All right, it looks like it, it's transparent there. And that, that was a pretty no, cool one we uh, dug out. open the back. See the back there. That's cool. <laughs> Very cool. Yo, come. That's awesome. Not a bad little yes, score sir. there. I got a uh, <coughs> Red Sox Indians dual relic. This is Manny Ramirez and Juan Gonzalez. Red Sox Indians bat relic. And like the other one, it pops up a little bit over the uh, card. It does? Yep. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Upper deck. My turn. Oh right? yeah, you gonna show that one off? Huh? That's your last one. This was no. my. This was my. I also got this one. I'm gonna show that one off because that's my player. This was my uh, probably my favorite card of the day that we picked up. Okay. I'm jealous of Lucas in this card because it's a it's a nice card. It is a painting. It's not even an upper deck card, so there you go. It's a painting of Manny Ramirez, and on the back. Um, it has a piece of bat and jersey from it. Yeah. So this is the Playoff Corporation, and they have the license. So you can kind of see how like it's painted on the yeah. side. Yeah, it has texture. It's hard to hard to see. Maybe if you hold it like this sideways, yeah, oh, you can't really see. See how it pops up off the card? It's a texture like the painting. You can see the brush strokes a little bit. See that with the reflection? Very very cool card. And then on the back we've got a patch card and. A uh, bat card. I've never seen uh, a relic card on the back like that. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Awesome. I mean, there are a ton of Manny Ramirez relic cards there for two bucks, but this by far was uh, was an awesome, just a, a beautiful piece to look at. And now the last uh, <coughs> card we got today was uh, one I never expected to get, to be honest with you. Uh, back in 86, when the Sox went to the World Series, my favorite player on that team, and for a year or two after, was uh, Don Baylor. Uh, and lo and behold, 2002, they actually had a Don Baylor upper deck relic for Mr. Baylor. So I didn't think there was any uh, relics or you know on card autographs or whatnot inserted into sets because he didn't play long enough to get into that era. But very, very happy to find that. I'm actually going to send it off to him. I believe he's with the Dodgers as a hitting coach. Um, see if I can get it signed because that's a that's a beautiful card from one of my favorite players. Um, we got a, they gave away the free packs again. Lu Lucas and Lillian both got some score. If you haven't seen these, these are the uh, 89 score. Um, not the most visually appealing ones, but if you get the right cards like this one... The backs with a different photo and all the information are very cool to read through. Right that, oh yeah. Hold on, son. And I got myself a pack of 1987 tops. You saved it. Back I when did. you got 17 packs. So let's take a look. Uh oh, say no to drugs. Be a superstar. That's what it says on the wrapper there. So, oof. These are the old wood grain set. Oof. I don't really like the wood No, sense. no. But uh, Kerry Carter, Tom Condiotti. Yeah, and the Indians. Yep. Yeah. With those beautiful backs of theirs. Ooh. Uh, look at that. Is that, is that a manager? Tell me that's a manager. Nope, that's a second baseman. This is a man. That, that's what you call a manager. Yeah, John McNamara. Uh, I think he, he made it through 87. Then 88 was Morgan's Miracle when they fired him after like What's three Morgan's weeks. What's Morgan's Miracle? That's when uh, John McNamara, the coach of the Red Sox, got fired, and uh, Joe Morgan took over. Oh. And uh, they Wait, went out of Why is it a miracle, though? Miracle, though. Because they, I think they won 20 in a row or something, or they went like 20 and 1 to get back. Oh, my God. These are some not very visually appealing cards. Oof. 
you could tell this was what would I say 87 you could tell that was around when Upper Deck decided to start laying the groundwork for their first set in 90 um, because there was a demand I mean these weren't visually appealing cards I mean nothing really to show off yeah here. but I did have a little bit of news for the 300,000 viewer contest we got a lot of entries coming in a lot of good questions and uh, memories uh, but we have our three packs set up. Uh, one of them will be here tomorrow, and that is the Gypsy Queen Hot Pack. Uh, but at the show, I picked up a Topps Heritage Hot Pack. So we're going to be opening one of those, giving away the relic, our insert Only card, the relic. to uh, one lucky viewer. And I also got a, a jumbo of Don Russ. So yes, when we pull this the one names, also is long. Yep, they're both other rack packs. Uh, a lot of cards now, in there. So good. when uh, we pull the relics or inserts out of these cards, we're going to send them off to one lucky uh, viewer. So if you want to enter, please send your uh, an email to the address on the bottom of the screen. Subject contest, so I can uh, filter it properly. And I need you to either say, uh, ask us a question, sports related or whatever, or, uh, or your favorite memory of the show. And then we're going to pull one name, open the pack, show the hits, show all the cards, show the hit. Mail the hit off to that person, pick the next person's name, open the next pack. So we have Topps Heritage this year, oh, everything's this year. Topps Heritage, Don Russ, and Gypsy Queen. But they had an extra Heritage. So we're going to open this bad boy. Yeah. And we're going to show off some of the cards. Give you a little sneak peek. So if this was the actual episode where we pull the people, we pull a name out of the hat. That'd be, oh, it's Lucas. Lucas is going to get this relic. Yay. Oh, so let's see what we got. Open it up, Lucas. Let's see what Lucas is going to win. And Heritage are cool cards. Can't open for autograph it. collectors, very, very, Yay. very, very cool. Oh, I opened it. But well, this, this one's the pack. Okay, my, uh, my. Oh, I see an Indians card. Okay, I get Ryan Bruin. Ryan Braun. Brown, For the Milwaukee Brewers. And then Indians, Red Sox. So yeah, I've just received a Clubhouse Collection Relic Card from 2015 Tops. So, if this was the actual show, I would slide this into a top loader, and then address it to the person who won it, and mail it off. A.K.A. me. Never to be seen again. It's like, whoop, wait a second, you don't need to mail it. Okay. Oh, Carlos Carrasco, nice. Okay, next back. Sure, so yeah, imagine if there was um not the most uh exciting set of cards. That, you know, based off the old set, the backs are really cool. But they also have uh these are fantastic to get autographed. If you do through the mail, and I highly recommend every sports fan does. Astros Royals. Dad, you won't like this. Orioles Rockies, Nationals, Yankees, Yankees, Yankees. Oh. Royals, Pirates. Yeah, that wasn't a very exciting pack for us. Yeah. It wasn't exciting at all. Jason Hayworth was his hair. Hair! Chase Headley, he'll make a good manager. Manager! The Yankees. Joe um, Girardi. George. Wade Davis. Dad. What? Wait, where is it? And Dad. that one. Dad, where yes. did you put it? For what? My Red Sox card. Oh, it's in there somewhere. Joe Kelly? Yes! Remember, I always keep it to he, that He side. got shellacked today, buddy. He got killed pitching today. What? He gave up like nine runs in uh, an inning and a half. What? Alright, so that's it. So that's how it's going to work. But we have these two waiting to be opened. The insert <laughs> relics autograph cards. Waiting to go home for one of you lucky viewers. So make sure you enter. And uh, we also have the Gypsy Queen pack coming in tomorrow. So it uh, goes through the end of the month, which would be uh, Saturday. So you have about seven more days to get that email in. And then uh, as soon as possible, after uh, June uh, 1st, we will uh, do a video of us doing the whole contest. So uh, make sure you get that email in to us. Uh, that, I think that's about it for today. What do you think? Anything? Did I miss anything? Avengers 2 was, was pretty good. A little slow to get started. 
uh, Ultron wasn't as good of a villain as uh, I expected. I liked him. Yeah, you liked him? I thought he was, I don't know. Didn't really seem to, I don't know. Now, don't we already have him? Ryan Braun? This card? Yeah. Maybe. Hmm. Uh, familiar. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, maybe we do. Maybe we don't. So that's it for us for today. Uh, Memorial, have a happy Memorial Day, everyone. I hope it was safe and uh, enjoyable. Hope you remember the veterans who gave their lives in the service of the country to protect the freedoms that we all enjoy. Um, yeah, that's it from us. So we're going to take off. Uh, we'll be back soon with another box break or two. We got some uh, boxes coming in from uh, the... That was it, Adam and Dave's. Dave and Adam's. Dave and Adam's uh, Memorial Day sale. We got some uh, four boxes of Cooperstown coming in. Uh, four. Four. We got uh, four a box of Pete Rose Legends with an autograph card, which will be cool to show off. Uh, what's that other thing you like? Wacky packs. Yeah. Uh, plus the new top sets coming out in June. So we got a lot coming up. Plus I have a whole stack of retro boxes in the basement that we're going to get to as well. So thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you and have a good day. That's it. You're just going to go right to the end, huh? All right. So thank you very much for watching, clicking on the ads, leaving comments, sending emails, feedback, everyone who's traded with us. Thank you very much. It's always appreciated. It's always enjoyable. And I uh, hope we get some more trades going soon. So until next time, I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.